if Mrs. Claus is oh. here. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, inside that oh. Oh. Hey everyone, it's We Play You, you win. win. Sherry and John oh. here. We're at Santa's workshop and it turns out, now I didn't know this, Mrs. Claus is in charge of the gift wrapping department. I had no idea. Oh, oh no, my goodness. No, she's slipping forward. That was interesting. And she wants to get all the wrapped gifts, which are on the workbench over here in the front of the pusher machine. She wants to get all those wrapped gifts into the prize chute. Now we want all those wrapped gifts to end up in the prize chute before Mrs. Claus gets there. Because then she'll know that all the elves were really on oh, the ball. Oh, this no. is bad. She is okay. on the move quickly. <laughs> The elves are gonna not get credit for a job well done if she gets there first. Now, this is actually, we had some viewer suggestions, and I don't like calling our viewers viewers. Channel participants, extended family members, what have you. We had some suggestions from Gene S and Kayla Fuller, and I think there was some other discussion about Mrs. Claus games in the live streams, but if it's talked about in the live stream, it gets lost in the ages. But I oh, know well, Mrs. Claus is moving up, you gotta be careful on the I'm right. not playing over there. But I know that um Gene and Kayla both suggested games with Mrs. Claus. Alright, I'm I'm playing here and uh, I'm a little concerned Mrs. Claus has been obviously waiting a long time and she for this work to, to get done. She wants to get her husband all packed up and off on his trip, and she's a little eager here. She obviously is. She's already jumped off the bulldozer that was bringing in Santa's Christmas bag to fill with presents. Oh, and look at that thing moving on. It's clearly autonomous. I mean, look, it's just moving. <laughs> it's just going. She Could must be have been going for a ride. And there she goes. Oh, left hand side of starting to move. What are we going to call these structures here in the front? Shelves, That's tables, the work bench. Work this is Santa's workshop. Those are clearly workbenches. And it looks like a gift wrapping station to me. Doesn't it look like a gift wrapping station to you? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Man, I wish we had a gift wrapping station. Oh, that would be great. Oh no, we dropped one to the right. Oh no. Well, I'm not trying to drop one on the right. Now, even if Mrs. Claus is oh, here, oh, her. oh my gosh, inside, yeah, oh, oh, get in the mask, oh no, oh my gosh, this is going to happen. Okay, uh, we're getting some action here, folks. It's just starting to push out as the workbench is collapsing. Any kids who are watching, don't worry. Even if not all the presents keep Mrs. Claus there, no present is left behind. That's it, it'll all work out in the end. Yes, Mrs. Claus may not be thrilled about the situation. No, we're just, the elves just don't get as big a bonus. And what do they get? Candy canes, hot chocolate. How about some bitcoins for those elves? Bitcoins for the elves? No, they'll all retire. They're <laughs> making the toys for next year. Oh, oh. There, there goes Santa's bag. It's starting to rise up on top of the workshop. What have you got here? A thousand dollars. Wow. I like how the right hand side is still standing. All right, Sherry, your turn. And it's going to stay standing because we can't play over there. Oh, what a mess this is made oh, on the left. No, there's some presents that are going to fall off right in the middle. So how many presents do we have to get out of here to fill Well, there's the a whole dozen. There's a dozen. There's a dozen presents? Twelve presents. We have to get twelve presents out before Mrs. Claus can get Well, we don't have to. Shoot. That's, that's the goal. Oh, man. <laughs> Twelve presents to win. Okay. okay. All right, we're staying on the left. We really do not want Mrs. Claus to pop out until there's a big mess on the right. And the only way to get a big mess on the right is to play the left. Because we can't play the right because of Mrs. Claus. And that bulldozer she was riding is still mostly together. We could somehow get that's the bull. That's not a bulldozer. That's a front end over there. It's like a fork. Okay. 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 Well, the. What is she doing? She oh, oh, yes. Well, that autonomous forklift 
we need to move that carefully onto the lower play I gotta, field. I gotta tell you, I gotta oh, tell you. Boy. By Christmas, this is probably what Santa's workshop actually looks like. You might be right. Yeah. Organized chaos. It's not so organized at the moment. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey. John, check the All right. Check the loop here. Got it. Present we number one. Present. Present Wait, number we one. got present oh, number oh, two oh. as well. Present number two. And some red chips, folks. All right. So, so we are starting to make progress. Inch. Sweet. Okay, John. Jim, it's your time. It is. Okay. Staying on that left, I see a blue present getting ready to fall off into the chute. We can, right now, we've got... We've got one sixth of all the presents we need to get, folks. That's pretty good. It is. If we can get that blue present off over there in the last, we'll have 25% of all the presents we need to get. But Mrs. Claus just moved up another quarter. Why is she moving? I don't know. Just I'm not dropping behind there. her. She should not be Do moving whatever up. Whatever you do, don't play over there. She should be protected she should by be. the bitcoins and everything, by the heavy equipment. In the way. In the way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we well, can't we're do. Keep playing over in the left. We cannot do a large rapid fire yet. Ah, uh, uh, oh, man. Okay. We need her to get bump up against that mystery bag. If we could get her to land on the mystery bag, that's gonna be impossible, though. Uh, yeah, because the mystery bag is so slow moving. I just think it's really cool, the right-hand side of the workshop. Shh, it's still standing. Oh, just moved on the right. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, this she is right bumping up turn, against turn. Santa's bag, or what we also know as the mystery bag. Now, gift wrapping, even... Oh, no, I did not want that to fall on the right. Okay, it's going right on top. Wrapping for the kids, you know, we had years where they weren't getting the best stuff, especially like kids' birthday presents and stuff. Um, we don't always get the best stuff wrapped up, but it's something. It's just something nice to open up. I try really hard to wrap it up nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. She just slid underneath the mystery bag. She just can't. Oh, go. she's in a hurry. She knows time is Hey, John, you got a present. A present. All right, we got another present. All right, we got another present. We got a blue present. So we've got 25% of all the gifts that we need to get. We've got three. We've got nine left to get. Making good progress. But unfortunately, Mrs. Claus is not Down on the a very field. patient person, it seems. So I made her look I took a picture of me and turned me into Mrs. Claus and Avi the Nun. She's oh. the person who wants to wake up too early. She's the person who wants to get her done in a hurry. Oh man. Oh, you know, she should have made her based on, I don't know. You think she's out there riding the whip to get some reindeer, get I don't things know. done? I wouldn't whip the reindeer. Well, no, you wouldn't. Now, I was saying I like to wrap things up kind of nice, so maybe it wouldn't be the best present, but it's really fun, and it'd be fun to open up, and I put stuff like a pedestal on the outside, or something like that, you know? Oh, alright, we got another red chip. Now, my grandma used, um, you know when you get stuff in the mail, packages, the plain newsprint pack, whatever you ordered for, she wraps up the mat, just plain old in that, and put your name up in the corner of it. And oh. call it good because she's not going to have to. Okay, Mrs. Her. Claus is still at the very back, right behind the mystery bag. She has not moved up at all. So, doing good. Now, my favorite kind of gift wrap to receive was always the Sunday comics. Absolutely. The that best. was the best. <laughs> the best. 
And anything else is just not as much fun. Even as an adult, that's the best. I agree. But nobody gets the newspaper anymore. Do they still do? Hey folks, do they still do the same color? They do. Know, do they? Yeah. Got another red chip? I haven't had a newspaper. That's a newspaper in forever. Okay, Mrs. Claus is still way back behind the mystery bag, between the mystery bag and the portrait. So she's holding firm while we are working on clearing out this mess on the left. Because right now, that autonomous forklift vehicle, if it knocks down, it's going to push Mrs. Claus forward by well, three or four quarter lengths. Because that. that deck of cards, it's the front of that, is a good pushing device in this kind of situation. Now, it might ride up on top of the quarters, though. If it does that, it would ride over Mrs. Claus. She'd be safe because she's magical, of course. And she might just stay where she's at. We don't want we don't want to have Mrs. Claus got ran over by a forklift. Oh, that would that would not be a good song. That wouldn't be good. That'll put you on the naughty list. You will get a call. Wait a minute. So if that put you on the naughty list, but that means Santa knows where you are. Hey, folks, we got another Christmas present. So that is a blue Christmas present. So we now have four Christmas presents. Whoa! Four? That's we got four. We got one third. Okay. That's actually pretty good considering Mrs. Claus is really hustling. Well, right. she's hanging where she was, but for now, I think that this. because of because the shelves are still all together here on the right. There's right. a green present. There is. Let's see if we can get the good present. Yes. yes. We've got some magic in the coin. <laughs> I told you we've got magic in the coin, and right as I said that, the trolls launched. Oh, that was awesome. That was epic. I was over there. I was over there. I knew there was magic holding things together tonight in the coin pusher, helping us slow down Mrs. Claus. So I heard that the was five. Boom. When I heard the boom, I thought, oh no, oh no, right. no, not now. So we've got a blue present getting ready to fall there. Okay. So we've almost reached halfway. Okay. All right, Sherry. I'm staying left. I'm trying to stay left. Of course, one went directly behind the front loader thing. It did. Oh, come on. Oh, that deck of cards is getting ready to fall off the pusher shelf. Push. Oh, good turn, John. All right. So we're still playing left, folks, because there's that blue present right here on the ledge on that green chip that we want to get off. And it is, it'd be ready, it would actually fall, except the yellow chip is making contact. Oh, no, 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 no. That is the bicycle cards. They just moved. Those bicycle cards. <laughs> Okay, it is completely over the ledge of the coin pusher, okay? I don't know all that's, that's on there. All that's on there, it's a quarter that's underneath it. Now there's the white and outline. And Bitcoin on there's top. There's the white outline on the bicycle playing cards. The white outline is holding it on that shelf. It's like 1 64th of an inch. I mean, that's it's like it. a millimeter. Okay, sure. Okay, okay, okay. I'm still over there. Mrs. Claus is still between the pusher shelf and the mystery bag. Just to give you the update. Uh -oh. Come on, let's see what other kind of magic Ooh. we have. Oh! oh no. Hey, we laid it on top of her. Shh, it's like I said. Oh, oh, my gosh. What a weird thing to be wishing for. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me. No! Did you get the trolls over there? Oh no! Uh oh, uh -oh. that big coin just slid down. Uh -oh. oh no, things are going to happen. No. Okay, okay alright, one on top. Check, check the loop. Alright folks, we've got a bunch of quarters still and another red chip. The trolls have left. Okay, the loot Okay, your turn. Alright, here we go. I'm still playing left. 
But unfortunately, even though the deck of cards moved forward and is actually on top of Mrs. Claus right now, but she's safe. Yeah, she's got the magical North Pole powers. No one ever gets hurt at the North Pole. Unfortunately, Pearl. it's dragging Mrs. Claus with it as it moves forward right now. You know, OSHA stopped inspecting Santa's workshop ages ago because they no one ever, ever gets hurt in Santa's workshop. Did you know that? I thought that it was the international version of OSHA. Yes. Okay. Right. What do they call that? I can't think of it. I-O-H-S-A. Okay, International OSHA. Thank what are you. you. We've got to be precise. And there, there, there may even be an E in there for elves. I'm not sure. I don't know. The, the elves didn't even unionize because they had to teach them very well. Well, I think that has something to do with the elves and the trolls. I think they've had some disagreements over the years. But they uh -oh. appear to be cooperating here. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, Mrs. Claus just moved over. Oh, no. Minimally, minimally. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, Good. my gosh. What's that? You put bad things oh, everywhere. Oh, there it goes. Our magical helper is no longer able to hold yeah, up and so the Santa's workshop for us. Push Mrs. Claus. I don't know oh. what you're talking about. That troll has been oh. working hard to keep Santa's workshop together and give us as much time. Oh. We've let that troll down. Oh, oh. Who knows I wouldn't want to disappoint any trolls. They were helping us earlier. I mean, look, they even gave us extra turns. All right. Well, who do you think persuaded Mrs. Claus to jump down? She was the very first push. What happened? She jumped from the driver's seat of the uh, forklift up to the front of the forklift. Next thing you know, a couple pushes later, where is she? She's down on the forklift. Who was... Who do you think was beckoning her with their siren call? Troll, troll, your turn. I think the issue was that she didn't have enough faith in her elven friend. Oh, pardon me, you're afraid that one of the claws duo does not have faith? Not in their troll friends. And oh. look how hard that troll worked. I didn't see any elves holding up that workshop, but there was a troll obviously trying to hold things up. Uh -huh. Now you might say, well, maybe the troll was there to take some presents. Your faith is misplaced. I think not. Oh, push all the way across the way, and I have unfortunately lost track of Mrs. Claus. Uh, not sure where she is. <laughs> I have no idea. I suspect and she's because, underneath Because the all, the, all the game pieces are red in this game, <laughs> if we just see a red Game piece. We don't have to oh, uh oh, uh oh, it's gonna go up on top though. Okay. Oh, uh -oh. that's a. Oh, what? Oh, oh, there's a present gonna fall right in the middle. The okay. Floor. All right. Let's see if we can so get we, that. John, should we tip this a little bit? Tip what? Because you can't see the front edge, and there are presents. Well, okay. All right, so we've adjusted the camera, folks. I'm going to continue my turn. Hopefully, it lets you see what's going on. And unfortunately, it did. things are still happening here. We are playing left, and I'm not sure where... Oh, I see Mrs. Claus. She's right behind the Oh, wait, wait, John. Did we get it? We got a present. We got All a right. green present. All right, we now have half the presents out of the machine. We need to get it. And now comes the real challenge. You gotta keep playing left. There's still more. I see an orange present between the two dice. There is. I'm nervous about our powers here to get it. It's quite the mess. It is. I think we can do it. And it's your turn, John. All right. We're staying on the left, and uh, thank you again to the trolls for helping tonight. Some of our viewers will be very much appreciative of the trolls making their appearance and how they made their appearance tonight in the phone call. They were just jumping out of the loop cam. That was awesome. What a surprise. I love that. So there's that. Yeah, but they were announced, luckily, 
her enough with the bang of the troll hole activating. That's right. So I could okay. jump out of the way. I mean, why don't you like that troll that's down there? Why? What do you have with that, with that troll? What's wrong with you? He's, he's so cute. No. No. Oh, his brother showed up. Okay. Moving on. Wah, 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 wah. That was too obvious. You're gonna have to figure out a better way to make me scared with those things because the troll loose hand is awful. Wow. Wow. Oh, and okay, a push. push. Wow. Another push. Come on, give me another push. Oh, your turn, John. All right, here we go. Well, we have half, half of the gifts. We've got half. I don't think Mrs. Claus will be satisfied with half, though. She wants all of it. She wants the job done. She wants the job done right. I think I'm quite familiar with... Is that a shot? You're taking a shot. With like the to... clarity that Mrs. Claus left in the instructions. I'm quite sure she was very specific about what needed to be done. Hmm. Well, that's how you get things done, and you get them done right. And you're very specific. There is an orange gift between the dice. Under a thousand dollar chip. Oh, Bitcoin fall. All right, Sherry. So, question for you. Question. I know this is not a Dwight question. Yeah. question. When should you use, in your opinion, a gift bag versus gift wrap? What situations would a gift bag be appropriate? If, if you're wrapping something that didn't come in a box and you don't have a box, go with a bag. I am a believer in boxes. She is, folks. If something oh, doesn't have a box, she seeks out a box to put the thing I in. I seek out a box, or I will custom make a box. You are the cardboard queen, as I know. Well, it comes from helping my grandma wrap presents when she was getting arthritic. She showed me all the tricks because she was really good at wrapping stuff. She couldn't afford great stuff. She couldn't. Every time that I get something, I have so much guilt because I always think of it. And Grandma never had new stuff or fancy stuff or anything. So every time John gets me something, I have guilt. Oh, Mrs. Claus has disappeared again. You can vouch for that, right, John? The what? My guilt. Remember, I bought a chair. Chair that's in our bedroom now. And it reminded me of my grandma. And but my grandma's chair was an old beat up chair that her mother had yeah, left behind when she passed. And I'm not talking like a family heirloom chair. I'm talking just uh we can't afford to replace this beat up old chair. And I think about my grandma every time I sit in the chair. We've had the chair like four years. Every time I sit in the chair, I think about it. Grandma never got new stuff. Never, never, never. We got to go into a furniture store and buy a chair. And I have guilt. Guilt. I'm, well, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to maybe not having the things that you wanted at some point. And even if you're doing a little better now, you remember those times that it makes you... Maybe someone might say you're a cheapskate. <laughs> someone might say you're thrifty. But, well, I don't know. Do you remember 1993? <laughs> you were at a garage sale. <laughs> you found a spatula for 10 cents. I did. And 27 I years later. I still have that spatula. Where is this? Yes. That's the best It is a fantastic spatula. spatula. I'll give you that. It's a Montgomery Ward spatula. And it's a good spatula. Hard rubberized handle. It's being thrifty. 
because if you lift it, if you, if you try not to waste some things, then when there's something you really need, you can do it, you know? And it's not bad to be thrifty. Okay, that present's moving up. Oh, there's Mrs. Claus. She's peeking out right now from the Mr. Dad right here, folks. She's moving. Even though we're not playing right, things are happening on the right that we seem to have no control over. Isn't it fun to buy a spatula for 10 cents? <laughs> and I believe you thought at the time you're not teasing that me about was my your, spatula. your temporary really... spatula. What's the no, rule about... I didn't. Okay. I didn't think well, it was temporary. Rule, though, I thought about temporary things in life. Don't do it. Don't do temporary because then you end up paying for it twice. And what happens? Well, Find the one that's that not why you do that. No. What's the reason you do that? I don't like to have extras. I like to have. Exactly I thought the reason you don't like to do things temporary was the temporary becomes permanent. permanent. It becomes, yeah, that happens too. That's the reason it's you like, don't like I to can't do things temporary. I can't justify getting a new, better one because I only have one that's perfectly edible. Even though every time I use it, I wish it was a better one. I've never felt bad about my 10 cent back. That's an awesome spec. That's an awesome spec. And now, now the price of Montgomery Road Spectral is going to skyrocket up to 25 cents. Not true. I found it. I found it on eBay for $15. Quite the that valuation. It's like a collector's item now because it's so flipping old. Pardon the pun, but flipping right, is a good, we go. flipping is a good uh, pun for a scratch. So Mrs. Claus is continuing to move up in the center. Uh -oh, We've got a problem. we got a problem. I think we have to try playing right if we're going to have a chance to get more presents. Playing left is bad because that blue present is on a slide layer. And yeah, but there's an orange present under the $1,000 token. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, I, I think it's going to play. You play what you want to play. I'll play what I want to play. We'll do our own thing. Do our own thing. Fine. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to go to the right of the coin pusher and play a little bit and see what happens. Because right now what I think is going to happen is there's no there's a clog to the left of Mrs. Claus, there's a clog to the right of Mrs. Claus, but there's no clog right in front of Mrs. Claus. And I'm afraid she's going to shoot through because there's no clog. And I'm hoping to change things up a little bit. But I don't know. I may just be pushing her out too. And your turn, Cherry. Okay. Ooh, here's your push. Yeah, this is Claus. It's definitely going to cut the number of presents in half. But don't worry. She'll just, when she takes her inventory, Santa's sleigh, she'll say, something's not right here. And she will send elves back. And they'll get them up. But we're going to see how well we can do Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm quite the butterfingers. This would be really fun if it wasn't a troll in the middle of the playfield. That troll was very helpful. He was trying to help hold together Santa's workshop. I know. I'm supposed to be talking about happy stuff. I'm talking about being a cheapskate. Hey, that's, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with being thrifty. We have tried well, to be thrifty when every Rena day. When Rena was little and growing like a weed. Uh oh, Mrs. Claus disappeared. Why did you tell me Mrs. Claus disappeared? Well, let me check the I don't price. see her anywhere. She's not in the prize. I'm afraid of what's going to happen soon. Uh, yeah. We got this big mess on the right that doesn't want to go anywhere. Your turn. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna play on the right, I guess. I don't wanna play on the right. I'm playing on the left. I think if I push those bicycle playing cards, I can get some traction. Uh-oh, it's going all the way across. Is there just quarters in the in the boot camp? 
So there, yeah, just quarter. So there's another good question to talk about when it comes to gift wrapping and presents. And this is something that you have quite the opinion on. What? Transparent tape or magic tape? I don't like magic tape. It's supposed to disappear because it doesn't. You have to go over and like rub it to get all the air bubble underneath it. I don't like the magic tape. I like the regular shiny Glossy transparent tape. I think it actually hides itself better. Now, if you're doing some kind of flash photography situation or something, maybe that's something you have to worry about. But just for somebody to rip open, the tape becomes not, not very visible. It hides itself. It's a regular fashion cell phone. There have been some years where it's really tough to find that tape, too. All the cords were sliding down off the side like they were on a ladder. Hmm. Do you see Mrs. C? Don't. But that's the thing. That's when they pop out. She must just be like Santa. Able to walk through walls and walk through coin pushers and do all kinds of crazy things. Get the okay. job done. All the way to the left, the thousand dollars. There we go. There we go. Check it out. We got one thousand. Oh, Yikes. This is dangerous. This is dangerous, folks. 100,000, 10,000, another 100,000, another 1,000, a jumbo smokes. die, and this is what was over there. You Orange. got that gift out. Gift. I did not think yes. that was possible. That's gift number seven. So seven. do we stay Do we stay left then? I don't know. Well, give me some direction. You seem I'm to have. I'm staying left. You wanted to go right. There's I don't definitely know. definitely more presents. I can see on the right. Oh, no, 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 uh oh Look yeah, who that, just showed that. up here, folks. There is Mrs. Dawes. Head gift wrapper herself. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. And okay, I guess we're going to play right since we're playing the left. Just, uh, right to where you she needs to be. Elves did not get the job done. Now, uh, Mrs. That's Claus, definitely her. That's her cat. It is really difficult to collect 12 tokens. <laughs> we got seven, though. We got seven twelve. Twelves. Seven twelves. Seven twelves. Can I turn that into a decimal? Sure, <laughs> let me get my calculator. Wah, wah. I was always asking Alexa. Don't say the magic keyword. <laughs> oh no, a big uh -oh. push. There she is, she's peeking out. You can see her smiling face. I'm not, I think it's a happy smiling face. Oh, of course it is. You, you know, know, she can rely on the other. One way or the other. Yes. I'm trying to stack them. Hmm. Uh oh. We got 58 and one third percent of all of the gifts. So that's pretty good. Though that's still not quite oh. passing. I wanted to get at least a. Uh, okay, your turn, John. You still could. I wanted to get better than a 58%, man. I don't like flunking. Oh, man. Yeah, these elves are going to have a poor performance for you, but she's jumping the gun. Half is not sufficient for Santa's workshop. He has quite the high Jump bar. Out. Oh, man. And look, those presents are all piled here on the right. I know. I see it. There's three on the right. One on the left. Uh, and there's no way Mrs. Claus can get stuck in the chute either. She's got a straight drop. Mm. Oh, you're saying if she got stuck in the chute, that you'd count that as stuck in the chute? Really? 
Well, hey. You do it if it's stuck there at a rock moment. You could. But not today. Oh, oh here, here we go. go. There oh, goes. there she goes. There she goes, the big cone on herself. Mrs. C. I don't think she's in focus, but there she is. But, just so you know, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beautifully wrapped gifts. Beautifully wrapped. Seven of them. And I have no doubt that the elves can gather up the remaining gifts and get them out to everybody all over the world. Not a problem. Now there's a mystery bag in there and someone's gonna win that mystery bag. Oh my goodness. John. All right, I folks. get emotional. I get emotional because I'm right. thinking about things. So All right, folks. It. So today we've been talking about presents and gift wrapping. And um, we would like to know when you give a gift, what is your preferred method of presenting that gift? Do you like to put them in a box and wrap it? Do you just like to wrap it whatever shape it is? Are you a box inside of a box person? I've done that before where you have a huge box and inside is something really, really teeny tiny. What's it's your preferred, most fun way? Box and a little bit smaller box and a little bit smaller box. Or, you know, are you a newspaper wrapping paper kind of person? Are you a gift wrap kind of, or are you a bag person? Are you a, hey, here you go, I don't have time. Whatever, we just want to know, Mr. Bag Questions, tell us how you prefer to give a gift. How do you prefer to present it? Comment on YouTube within the first 24 hours of the video gets posted for a chance to win a mystery bag. Sherry? Do you prefer to get something awesome and not so great gift wrap or something eh, in a really beautiful gift wrap? I don't know. <laughs> but anything. We just want to know your feelings about gift wrap and, and presents and you just hope nobody gives me anything. I get nowhere to put it and I don't need anything. Bake me cookies. Is that your thing this year? That's kind of our thing this year. You're making me cookies? <laughs> this is the first I've heard about this, folks. Maybe. Oh, she's making me cookies. I'm going to be such a happy fat Santa this year. Oh, no. Oh, oh yes, no. yes, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Well. Thank you for offering to make me cookies, Sherry. So it's, oh. a, kind of, it's a very vague mystery bag question. But it's just, it's, it's the holiday season, and I just like giving out mystery bags, so I'm not too particular about what the comments are. But thank you everyone for sharing this time with us and listening to me ramble. And please stay safe, stay healthy, and, and please, we want to see you with us again next time. Bye.